In this video, I'm going to show you how to heapify an array. Here we have an array filled with numbers. The underscore at the beginning indicates that we are in a context of heaps and in the heaps based on uh, the ALPS4 implementation does not use the index zero. So here we have the elements. I start lining them up level by level, just the way they are in the array. So my root is going to be 51. Then I have a obtuse angle with fairly long connectors. My next elements are 86 and 72. Now we have more children. So the next one are 32, 19. and then 73, 66, etc. I'm going to pause the video and I encourage you um, to do the same. Try it yourself and then press continue when you uh, created a tree based on the elements in the array. There we are. So all elements have been added level by level in the order in which they were in the array. Now, we have a tree that is complete, but it doesn't fulfill the, uh, the heap requirement. In my case, it's a min heap, so I might just make myself a nice big reminder here, min heap, and where each of the roots of the tree and subtrees needs to be less or equal than the children. So 51 should be less or equal than the children. That looks good. But then 86 is not less or equal to the children. So you can see uh, some fixing is not is, is still necessary. The way heapifying works, and that is important, is we start at the bottom. So the very last row is all leaves. You can think of that as uh, subtrees that only have a root. So if there's only a root, that's a perfect heap. Nothing to do there. So we start uh, in this row, and I totally recommend that you write on the right hand side those arrows because they help you uh, to keep track of the row you're working on or the level you're working on. Also, they help you uh, provide a visual clue from the context you're working in. Um, that can be helpful on exams. So here we have more leaves. Now this is the first element coming from the bottom, bottom up, right to left. Now I'm coming from my bottom, right to left. This is the first element that has children, 45. And I'm checking, uh, is uh, 45 less or equal than the children? That is not the case. This is a min heap. So I have some sinking to do. So when we heapify, we only sink. When we add new elements one at a time, we always put them at the bottom, we only swim. So that's a difference to keep in mind. We only sink, 45 needs to sink, 24 uh, goes up. So here we have 45 sinks, 24 goes up. At this point, I might ask myself, am I done yet? And I can see 45, that's the element I've been working with, reached the, uh, a leaf, so there's no further place to sink, we're done. Let's take the next one here, 80. Is 80 less or equal than the children? That is not the case. So 80 needs to sink. Where should it sink? It should sink in the direction of the smaller child. In this case, 10 is smaller, so it's going to sink in the left direction. 80 is going to sink, 10 is going to come up. So here, 80 sinks, 10 comes up. And again, we are done because 80 is now a leaf. Let's look at the next one here, 35. 35 should be less or equal than the children because it's a min heap, that is not the case. So we have to identify the smaller child, that is 28. So 35 is going to sink and 28 comes up. At this point, I reach the end from that level. So I go back, I go one level up, I give myself another arrow to indicate now we are working in this level here. So 66, given that it's a min heap, should be less or equal than the children, that is not the case. So I have to identify the smallest child, in my case that is 18. So 66 is sinking and 18 comes up. Now,
next one here, 73. 73 is not less or equal than both of the children yet. We have to identify the smallest child. That's 26. 73 is going to sink. 26 comes up. Pause the video for a moment. Try to do the next two um, elements in this level. When you're done, press continue. Now I'm going to catch up with you. I'm going to look at 19. Is 19 less or equal than both of the children? I can say yes, that is the case. No work to do here. But what about 32? Is 32 less or equal than both of the children? That is not the case. I identify the smallest child, which is 10. So 32 is sinking and 10 comes up. Now we have a very important step. I have to ask myself, am I done sinking? So I look at the children. I say, is 32 less or equal than both of the children? In this case, it's the case. this is true. So we're done. Uh, and uh, here we have 10. We finished this row. That's where we uh, worked on. This is the level we have been working on. So I go back to the right hand side. I go up yet another level. And now I'm starting right here with 72. Give yourself some time to try it. Please pause the video. When you're done, press continue. At this point, I'm going to catch up. I look at 72. 72 needs to be less or equal than the children in order to fulfill the min heap requirement. That is not the case. So 72 needs to sink. Which of the children is the smaller one? That's 18. That's why 72 is going to sink to the right hand side and 18 is coming up. So here is 72 and 18. Important next step. Am I done yet? Is 72 less or equal than the children? That is not the case. I identify the smaller child. In this case, it's 30. So 72 is sinking to the left and 30 comes up. At this point, we are ready to move further on the current level. We are here. Uh, again, pause the video, try it yourself. When you're done, press continue. At this point, I'm going to look at 86. 86 is not less or equal than the children. I identify the smallest child. That is 10. So 86 is going to sink. 10 is coming up. Now I'm looking, 86 is not less or equal to the children. Smallest child is 28. So 86 is going to sink and 28 is coming up. At this point, I'm checking again, is 86 less or equal than the children? That is not the case. So 86 needs to do more sinking. It needs to sink to the left because 35 is the smaller child. So 80, 86 is going to sink down and 35 comes up. So here is 86 and 35 comes up. I was distracted for a moment. So there we go. Uh, and at this point, I'm done with my current level, I go back to my right hand side. I can see the next level we need to look at is the root level. Again, pause the video, give yourself a chance. When you're ready, press continue. At this point, I'm going to look at 51. 51 is not less or equal than the children. So 51 needs to do some sinking. 51 sinks to the left because 10 is less than 18. So 51 sinks and 10 comes up. So here is 51 and 10 comes up. Now I'm checking is 51 less or equal to the children, not the case. This time the right child is the smaller one. So 51 is going to sink and 19 comes up. So 51 sinks and 19 
comes up. Now checking, are we done yet? Here is 51. There are two children. It's not less or equal to all children, so we have to do further thinking. It sinks to the left side. Here we have 24 and uh, 51 sinks and 24 comes up. And I have to check again. Am I done yet? Now, if there, this was not 70, but just 30, I would be done, but it's not the case. Here we have, um, so I'm checking again. Am I done yet? Is 51 less or equal than both of the children? So here I can see I have one child that is still less than 51. So I have to sync one more time. 51 sinks, 45 comes up. And at this point we are done. We have uh, converted the array into a heap in place.